Renato Sanchez to Manchester United. The rumours are back. Man United are getting heavily linked with the 19-year-old Bayern Munich midfielder. But as we all know, this is not the first time that Man United have been linked with a move for Sanchez. Back when he was a Benfica player, we were heavily, heavily linked the whole way through, through Euro 2016, where he was fantastic. But then he joined Bayern Munich. So what we're going to do is run through the full story of Sanchez and his links to Man United right back from when they started in January 2016 to where we find ourselves right now. So as I said, the Sanchez to Man United story started back in the 31st of January 2016 when Portuguese newspaper O Jogo reported that Man United had offered 30 million euros for the then 18-year-old midfielder who had broken into the Benfica first team. He was sort of wasn't a prodigy in Portugal, but he was just somebody who was really catching the eye. So United's interest in Sanchez predates Mourinho, who didn't come in as Manchester United manager until after the end of the season. But Man United had been linked with him before that. And more reports came out in February trying to say that Man United had a gentleman's agreement with Sanchez. We all know that nothing happened. But as I said, the reports, they started before Mourinho even came in as Man United manager. And then on the 25th of April 2016, Gianluca Di Marzio, he got involved in a situation and said that Man United were closing in on a 60 million euro bid for Sanchez and that would be paid over four seasons. Now, obviously nothing happened. Di Marzio has always been a, a transfer guru, I suppose, or somebody who we really, really trust. But this is one that he got wrong. But it followed on from swathes of reports that Man United have been scouting Renato Sanchez every single game and in the same fashion as David Moyes scouted William Carvalho for about 27 games in succession Man United were doing the same thing with Renato Sanchez or maybe not Manchester United but Mourinho and his own scouts because Mourinho as I said didn't come in until after Louis van Gaal was sacked in May but the reports the whole way through in February, March, April all suggesting that Mourinho off his own back and with his own scouts had been doing his own scouting and that Sanchez was a key part of that then on the 28th of April, reports in Portugal said that Benfica president Luiz Felipe Vieira was in Manchester to help seal a deal for Sanchez to Man United. Alas, nothing happened. And that is not the first and only time we've ever heard of Benfica's president being in Manchester to seal a deal. I remember a certain Nicolas Gaetan where I think he was in Manchester about 900 times and he didn't come to Manchester United. And only the following day, record in Portugal, another newspaper in Portugal, said that Man United were going to pay 80 million euros for Renato Sanchez, 40 million up front, plus 40 million euros in add-ons and bonuses. So we've gone from January 2016, where Man United had reportedly offered 30 million euros for Renato Sanchez, to April 2016, where that figure has now risen to 80 million euros. That is a substantial jump. And this is before what happened at Euro 2016 as well. But I think it goes to show the stock that Sanchez had. Everybody was looking at him. Everybody was interested in him. And so are Man United. So Man United were getting linked heavily with Renato Sanchez almost every single day in the press. And then out of nowhere, on the 10th of May 2016, Bayern Munich announced that they had signed Renato Sanchez. He was pictured there, all smiles, signing his contract, wasn't moving to Man United. He had moved to Bayern Munich. And then in the, in the following days coming after that, Renato Sanchez have confirmed that he did turn down an offer from Man United. And Bayern Munich CEO Karl Heinz Rummenigger said that Man United had just taken too long and we came in and swooped and made the deal quick. Now, this was painful for Man United fans because we had been moving for Sanchez for such a long time, but we had dithered, we had taken too long. And Bayern Munich came in and picked up one of the hottest prospects in European football. And that was proved to be true, because at Euro 2016, Renato Sanchez was fantastic. Portugal won the tournament. Renato Sanchez was named the young player of the tournament. It really looked like Man United had missed out on an absolute gem of a player, which made it all the more painful that it's only happened because we took too long. Had we moved quickly and swiftly in the market for Sanchez, he probably would have been a United player last summer. Then on the 7th of August 2016, Jose Mourinho offered some insight into the Sanchez situation and made it clear that had he been appointed Man United manager earlier than he was, he would have moved to try and sign Sanchez. This is what Mourinho had to say. He said, I arrived late. I signed in May. We started talking a week before, but completely out of the process. If I had arrived earlier, I'd fight for him. 
Manchester United watched Renato many times and maybe I did it even more. In so much time at home, I watched many Benfica and Portuguese league games. I got to know the boy better with time. He's in a big club in the league where he'll certainly be the champion. The club have players of very high level which belong to the structure a little like Benfica. So Mourinho made it clear that had he, be, had he come in as Man United manager a little bit earlier, he would have fought to sign Sanchez. So it's clear that Mourinho likes Sanchez, has an affiliation for him. Remember, he's Portuguese. Mourinho's Portuguese. He's yet to sign a Portuguese player. Could Sanchez be the first one? And obviously, after that move to Bayern Munich, Sanchez sort of disappeared into the shadows a little bit of the club because he didn't hardly ever get any starts in the Bundesliga, didn't play much under Carlo Ancelotti, sometimes, I think, playing with Bayern's reserves. So Renato Sanchez has gone from having such a fantastic Euro 2016, securing a move to a top elite level club, to then disappearing and his career somewhat coming to a stagnation point because he's not progressing, he's not getting the game time he needs and therefore he's not developing, which is what any youngster needs. Bearing in mind he's only 18, 19, I think he might be 19 at this time. He's 19 now anyway. So Sanchez's career has stalled at Bayern Munich to the point where he's being linked with a move away just a year later. And it's not just links at this point, because again, Karl Heinz Rummenigge have been speaking about Sanchez. He publicly has said that Sanchez is available for 48 million euros. Speaking about Sanchez, Rummenigge said he won't have a lot of game time next season and we are open to discuss his possible sale. We can sell him on loan or on a permanent deal. I'm not the manager, but I believe Renato needs regular game time. AC Milan are interested in signing him. I can confirm that, but talks have been put on hold after last week's meeting. Clubs interested must be aware that they need a huge offer to sign him and I believe AC Milan can't match our asking price. I think that an offer in the region of 48 million would be enough to sign him. Now it's very rare for a club to actually put a figure on a player that they want. Whatever, sometimes you get it with the release clauses but that's obvious. In this situation, I don't know if this is a release clause or not, let me know in the comments below, but 48 million Given that Man United were being linked with an 80 million move for Sanchez only a year before, that's great value for a player who's 19, he's got his whole career ahead of him, was named young player of the tournament at Euro 2016, a fantastic prospect, and somebody who will thrive and grow into one of the world's best central midfielders. That's the hope behind him. So for Man United to be linked with a 48 million euro move, especially in this summer when you see Pickford for 30 million, Kane for 30 million, <laughs> 45 million pound bid being rejected by Swansea for Gilfie Sigurdsson, 48 million euros for Renato Sanchez, that looks like real value. And then only a week later, Carlo Ancelotti has been speaking about Renato Sanchez and he refused to rule out a move for him. He said the market stops on August the 31st and at the moment he is working with us and training with us. When we have time to take a decision together, it can be a possibility. It is also possible that he stays and helps us. And then Ancelotti was asked directly about United's interest in Renato Sanchez and this is what he had to say. He said, at this time he's training with us, we have to make a decision. A move could be a possibility, he's talking about a move to Man United, but there is also a chance he could stay for the season. And we then find ourselves in the current situation. Renato Sanchez has moved to Bayern Munich, had a fantastic Euro 2016, his career has stalled in Germany, Bayern Munich are willing to sell him, they've put a 48 million euro price tag on him and Carlo Ancelotti has refused to rule out a sale. Now Sanchez himself has also spoken about his future, he said he'd be happy to stay at Bayern Munich but I think we all know that the kid needs and wants game time to really develop as a footballer. Now Sanchez himself is not a pure holding defensive midfielder, not somebody who can really become that powerhouse in that role for Man United but he has played there before, he's not a a natural pure defensive holding midfielder, someone like William Carvalho, his Portuguese teammate from Euro 2016. But Sanchez can grow into one. He's got all the talent in the world in that position. He's got bags of strength. He's great at dribbling. He's more of a, he likes to go forward. He likes to dribble, he likes to make passes. Tackling is not his natural game. But it doesn't mean that someone like Jose Mourinho couldn't teach that into him and make him become that defensive midfield powerhouse. Because at 19, his position isn't 100% set in his career. He's still young enough and malleable enough to mould himself into a defensive midfielder. And maybe that can be what Man United can do. But would you want to see Man United move for Renato Sanchez? Another year's gone past. 
His career hasn't moved on that much, but his price has certainly gone down because of how poorly the spell has gone at Bayern Munich. Last summer, he was the young player of the tournament at Euro 2016. Now, he's somebody that Bayern Munich are willing to sell for the right price. And the right price is 48 million euros. That is a cheap signing for someone who is so young and has so much of his career ahead of him. But do you think that Renato Sanchez to Man United for 48 million euros, should that be a move that we make? Can he become that defensive midfielder we need? Or would he come in and just strengthen the whole central midfield instead? Let me know what you think in the comments below. But you can't ignore these rumours. They've all been there since 2016 and Bayern Munich have said he is available. Man United need a central defensive midfielder. Is that going to be Sanchez? As always, please drop a like on this video. I hope that it helped you understand the full story of the Sanchez to United rumours and where it all started and where it is now. Subscribe to United People's TV if you're new. Share this with your friends on Facebook, anywhere else. The more Reds that watch it and the more Reds that comment, the better. Until next time, take it easy.